you can declare variables using let and the name of the variable. Let's check the, the value. And you can see that it's 5. In other languages, to change the what's in the variable um, after it has been declared, you do not have to use the let again. So we are assigning to a different value. You can do it like this, and but in Vim script, this is not allowed. Let me just print out the, the value, and it gives an error because you need a let there. So every time you want to change the variable, even if it's been declared, you still have used the let before the variable name. If you want to check whether the variable has already been declared, you can use the exist command and you can give the name of the variable in a string and one means it's been declared and if it doesn't it returns zero so let's check for the variable um, let's just put number two so as you can see number two retains zero because it has not been declared so let's put some value in it and reprint and you can see that now it's one you can also access the local options that you have you might have um, set inside your vimrc by using the ampersand sign so let's just um, try text width you can see i've set my text width to be 78 characters um, and you can also change it using the let command as well just like you change any other variable um, let's just put 50 now and you can see it's been changed to 50 so this command right here is the same as the usual set command that you do to set um, local options so let's just put it back to 78 now so as you can see that it's back to 78 so this line and this line essentially does the same thing.